Hey folks, well after searching for two days, I finally figured out how to get my videos to fit in this new widescreen player on YouTube. Um, I was getting so tired of having a little black bar on, on uh, either side of me. So, now I know how to put my videos in uh, widescreen. My camera doesn't, I've got one of those flip ultra cameras and it doesn't record in widescreen. And I edit my videos with Windows Movie Maker because I'm lame and I don't know how to use anything else. So, I finally figured out how to do it. So, I'm, for those of you that are lame like me and use Windows Movie Maker because you don't know how to use anything else and your camera doesn't take widescreen videos, I'm going to show you how to do it. You know, some of them older kids, works for some of them older cameras too that say they have the widescreen effect, but really all it is is they put a black bar on the top and bottom. And so I see a lot of that on YouTube too. A lot of people uh, uploading videos that they think is in widescreen, but it's now they've got now they've got all this slack space on this side, this side, up and down. So here's how we do it. Okay, the first thing you want to do is download MPEG Stream Clip, and I'll put a link over yonder to the side, but you might have to Google it, because you know how these links are sometimes. It'll be there one day and gone the next. Okay, then we're going to open that. Okay, then we're going to go up to File, Open File, and open your video file. And there's your video. Okay, and when the video shows up in the box, then all you do is go to File, export to AVI okay it's gonna already have selected the size that your video is uh, mine 640 by 480 and you want to take 25% um, off the height so you're gonna click down on other and we're gonna leave the width at 640 and change the height uh, take 25% off the height which would make it 360 um, we're also gonna go up here to this slider and put quality at 100% because I don't want to lose any quality. Then we're going to uh, click on cropping and you're gonna crop that 25% which is uh, what 120 and you can do it from the top and bottom. Um, now me I got a lot of I usually have 10 miles of space above my head in my videos so I would do you know either 80 40 you can do 60, 60, which is good if you have one of those cameras that say they're recording in widescreen, but they're really just putting a black bar on you. And uh, <clears throat> and that's it. Then you just click Make AVI, and then uh, save your new file name. Okay, then it's going to have a box that's going to show you what your video is going to look like. So that way you can cancel it if it's if you can tell it's all squished in or smashed and and looking all crazy and stuff. Um, and that's it with that part. Now that's going to make the file size huge, but uh, that's okay because once you edit it in Windows Movie Maker once you save it it's going to be the same file size it was. So then we want to open Windows Movie Maker and we're going to go to Tools, Options, Advanced Options and change the aspect ratio to 16.9. That's the widescreen format. And then click OK and then you can import uh, import your video and edit it like you normally would. And that's all there is to it. Wasn't that easy?